Alrighty, hello my chaotic crew. Uh, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to it if you're new, and uh, welcome to Five Nights of Candies Remastered. Um, I was suggested to play this, so uh, here we are. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Let's try and beat night one and two. Shouldn't be half bad. Or overly bad. Help wanted. Candies, burgers, and fries. Family restaurant looking for a security guard on this. Okay. Couldn't read it because it goes too quickly. <laughs> At that end, also, I was rambling too, so. A is what it is. Let's see. I'm the junior manager here at the restaurant. I'm supposed to walk you through the job as our new security guard. From your resume, I can tell that you're already a well-experienced guard. But, you know, it's protocol, so I have to walk you through the basics anyway. So, let's get started. We have security cameras all around the restaurant. And if you bring up a camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from each camera by pressing the camera buttons on the mini -mode. Now, our lights are always off during the night. Obviously, because it'd be a waste of power to leave them on all night. So to actually see something on the cameras, you can activate the camera system night vision mode. You activate night vision by clicking on the button of whatever camera you're currently using. So for example, say you want to see what's on camera 1. You bring up the camera panel, you click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, you can click on any of the other cameras and view them with night vision as well. And you turn it off the same way you turn it on. Now, night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the animatronics. Those are really expensive machines, and we do not want them stolen. And you keep an eye on them, through the cameras. We have quite a few animatronics here. There's of course the cats Candy and Cindy, there's Chester the Chimpanzee, there's the Penguins, just lots, I tell ya. Uh, so, you also have three security doors in your office, each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are here in case you're in some sort of danger, but personally I just use them to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. But don't let me be a role model on that one. You need to remember that closing these doors takes power, and the longer they're closed, the more power they drain. Now, I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail-safe feature in case the power gets cut off, you know, so they open up if there's no more power. All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed, so you don't want to keep them closed for too long at a time. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of juice in it. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left on the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run out of power. If you do though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at night, so they might start walking around a bit. But just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want damaged or anything. Though, don't bother with the ticket booth door. They won't attempt to get in through there. That should be all. You'll hear from me again on your next shift. Have a good night. Alright, that's not bad actually. So, if I remember correctly, it should just be Candy and Cindy tonight. Unless, you know, Chester wants to act up. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of suggested this before, and honestly, I know that it's probably not going to happen, but... Where is he at? Okay, there he is. How did you get here so fast, Candy? I was gonna say, though, it would be honestly, like, a nice little feature that could easily raise the tension is if you could, like, see Candy or Cindy's eyes outside the glass window there. Yeah, at least she's staying there. Yeah, kind of like how you can see them in the cameras here or, you know, even in the door. Just kind of confuse and slightly terrify people by having their eyes in the window <laughs> obviously you don't need to close it of course like he said but still be one of those nice little features they have and whatnot so yeah all 
Oh, she has moved. Hello, Cindy. Oh. <laughs> I guess it was her moving and not him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yo, Candy. Come attack me, bro. Okay, that's actually kind of weird. Usually people, when they play this game, be like, Please don't tag. Please don't tag. <laughs> oh, hello. Actually, I do want him attacking. Could I get him to go away a little bit for a little while? There we go. Now Cindy should be attacking soon. Hey, Candy's Adventure. It's not one of the games in Fana uh, Candy's 3. Um, you know, Candy's Adventure. I honestly don't know. Maybe. Bob goes the weasel. Oh. Just sitting here waiting. What's really happening? Okay, Candy's still on stage. That's not good. Uh, that is good, actually. And keep him away a little bit longer. 5 a.m., so. We have a lot of power, actually. Still remaining. That's not. That's actually really good, though. Actually, that is really nice. Oh, hey! Cup! Cup Man. <laughs> man cup, cup man. No? Okay. Oh, candy's on the move again. Great. Exactly what I wanted to see. The main man. Can you stop flickering? <laughs> Maybe you think somebody was here and about to attack. I mean, there was, yes, yeah, right there, but still. Need to call the phone man back and tell him that the power is acting stupid. Probably sent it to school. I saw Chester there for a split second. <laughs> he didn't move much. He was just peeking out the curtain being like, Hey, this man talking about a power system. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make him sound like he was related to Patrick Starr. Hey, it's you again. Hello. Puppet Man. Puppet Master. You come for my ticket, Master? No. Why do you look pissed? Somebody... I don't know. Somebody peed in his coffee. Maybe. Or take a bite of his Cheerios. Alright, night two. Da, 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 da. Alright, phone man. Hey, phone man. Real quick, before you say something, the power is flickering. Can you fix that? <laughs> Come in in the morning and fix the power. Hey there. I uh, put up a note today to gather some intel on the animatronics from the other employees. Uh, just to get a list of the um, issues we've had. They've written down some stuff here for you. So uh, let's see. All right. So obviously the animatronics walk around at night. You know that by now. Um, they try to get to places they shouldn't be. Uh-huh. Yep. They act weird after dark. Yep. They don't like adults. Hmm. I mean, what? <laughs> I suppose they always seem nice around children. Around us employees, they just kind of stare at you. I always thought they just hadn't been coded to interact with anyone other than children. But some of the other employees have felt threatened by them now and then. But I know that some of them are also superstitious morons. So who knows if they just became scared when the electronic looked at them Hey, Chester, my boy. Anyway, one last thing on the list here. The last penguin interferes with the system. There's a sad thing I thought I'd say. Uh, we have these penguin animatronics as waiting. Whoa, hello. Uh, they take people's orders and whatnot. 
We used to have three of them, but two of them broke down and haven't been fixed yet. I think they're referring to the third penguin that still works. Or, well, apparently it doesn't quite work. So yeah, definitely don't let him into the office. His presence alone could probably destroy our systems. Well, that'll be it for now. I'll be sure to leave another message for your next shift. Chester. Monkey man. Monkey in the middle. Cappuccino. Mario. Luigi. Mamma mia. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I, can, I realize now that the penguin is a lot like Balloon Boy. They're both uh, relatively short. But them are gone. And they mess with her stuff. Now, speaking of cappuccino. Cup. Not gonna re. Eh, okay. Eh. <laughs> we got the Golden Freddy cup, apparently. Screw up in a cappuccino cup, you're going Freddy cup. It <laughs> just disappeared. Wow, magic. Must be a magician or it's possessed. Going with the ladder. Hey, it's Candy. My boy, Candy. <laughs> uh, it's not very sweet of him to be attacking. I must see myself out. <laughs> oh, Lord. Candy! I didn't actually want you to attack me. That semi rhymes. I'll do the crime. You can probably just straight up sit here and just not really have to look at the cameras. Unless Blink is active. No. If he was, he would probably be looking at us already, giving us that blank stare. Hey, blank. <laughs> Imagine just, like, listening to the audio on the cameras and just hearing the uh, character we play as just shouting at blank from across the building. Hey, blank. <laughs> I'm not trying to be loud. Uh, good job. I was gonna say, Blank, I, I'll give you this burger on my desk if you leave me be. Although you're a robot and can't eat, I, I'll still give it to you. Oh, hey, cup's back. What the hell? Where the hell am I? What is this place? <laughs> Where am I? Where, Where am I? I? Where, Where am, am I? I? Let me be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Cup's gone again. I didn't even realize he could do it more than once. But here's how uh, Mark's thing it more properly. Nice. <laughs> it's just... Oh, oh, hey there, kitty cat. Where they at? Candy. Oh, there you are. The one camera I did not check and you were on. Oh, wow. I'm surprised on how much power we got. For how late in the night it is. 4 a.m. with 82%. Hey. So chill, just like, oh hey, how's it going? I see you here. <laughs> I bet the person we're playing as is just pooping themselves. Like, oh god, why is there a giant cat outside my door? You know, I thought about this before, but imagine like how different candies would be. I like any fan game or even like mainstream FNAF games would be like with a different uh, gameplay, like, you know, different mechanics of the characters and layouts of the maps. Story. <laughs> uh, the possibilities for how this stuff could play out is virtually endless. 
Wait a minute, didn't you just attack me? If not... Who was at my door? Wait a second. <laughs> We're about to have a conspiracy theory on our hands. Exactly, who's attacking? It is Candy. How the hell did you get out my outside my door so quick? Like, back to my door. Okay, nobody's there. Yeah, 5 a.m. with 77%. Not half bad, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I went country there. Oh, hey. Never mind. 77 at 6 a.m. Maybe 76. Who knows? Hello. Oh, hello. No, children. Hey, I can't see. Can you give me my can- oh. Actually, never mind. Can you take away my, uh, video feed? I really don't want to see that. Somebody spilt their, uh, strawberry jam on the conveyor belt. On the metallic parts. <laughs> well, anyways. Uh, that has been the first part of Five Nights at Candy's Remastered. Uh, most likely in the next video, we're gonna be, uh, you know, continuing with the, uh, the next video that we do on this game, most likely will be of night three and four. So yeah, without much further ado, gonna end it here. If you have enjoyed, then I do hope to see you around in the next one. Peace out and bye-bye.